was still an upgraded model from the $3,000. And this thing, if you put on an album, and anybody dead, if you put on an album, like if I put on Billie Holiday, she will come into the damn house. You see, because the, because the, 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 the not only the LP is sophisticated, but the receiver is so sophisticated, they don't even remember people used to go in the army to go get the receivers. I'm going in the army to get some. That's because they got shit that they don't sell in this country. Why? Because they'll tell you, the, uh, uh, they'll tell you it's 100 watts. We sell no 100 watts in this country. They'll tell you it's 100 watts. And in America, they'll give you 30 watts or 40 watts and call it 100 watts. So I had to get this one in through Canada. So on Beltane, Beltane is May Day. May Day, the witches deal with all that. On Beltane, we played some music and we put on some Tina Marie music and she came to the house. And she said, no, I want you to play me for a minute. <laughs> and so I got a 5,000 albums. So I have to try to dig out the albums, but it's interesting here. Whenever I, like I'm not afraid one album, but the other 5,000, the other albums was mixed in with the 5,000 albums. But for some reason, every time one of them spirits come, those albums are always in a stack that I can find. James Brown did that one time. You see what I'm saying? James Brown did that one time. You see what I'm saying? But um, but uh, she came to the house, and we had we had I played like seven of her LPs. She was there, so that's the, how we dealing with this whole spirit thing. You, uh, uh, with the healing and everything, but but music is music is melanin put to scale. It is our DNA put to scale. You see what I'm saying? I did. Now, what you can do, if you got a CD, the best thing to do is to get you, uh, take a CD and play it in a DVD player. Because a DVD put back certain programs. You see, they'll have DST, they'll have Dolby, they'll have about five or different, different systems. MP3, and what they have done, they put back some of the things because they, they need all those special items so the DVD can, can read itself in the visual aspect, so they had to put back certain things and all. So, if you're going to play a CD, play it through a DVD player and you get a better quality. And then what you want to do, you don't have to go get a, uh, you don't, you got a DVD player, so you don't have to go and get a $3,000 system, you just got to go get professional headphones. So you will see Sony, and it'll have professionals. And anytime you see in the studios, they either got one, a uh, one that, that starts with an S out of Germany, professional headphone. Huh? And that, it's not sure it's another one; it's a longer name. And then they got Sony professionals. You will, so if you want to get tap into that melanin, you, you know, only thing you need to do is play it through a CD player, or you, it can even be a CD Walkman or something. Don't matter. Get you some Sony professional. Sony might have 10 different headphones out, out here. You got to get the one that, uh, that, that Jay-Z and all the motherfuckers be in the studio. You will see this one that got blue and red on it. <laughs> yeah, you have to have, because there's certain options and stuff that you got to hear when you're in the studio. So it's either one is called something that's an S on the side of a one. But if you don't, you need to get the Sony professional. And, and, you, and play the CD to a DVD player. Yeah, what's that? Uh-huh. That question for you, Brother Bob. Uh-huh. Um, my, my father told me the story a long time ago. You were talking about spirits earlier. Yeah. When my father was probably about 13, 1960, 1961, uh-huh. um, he was coming back hunting uh-huh. here in North Carolina. And um, his aunt was at the house waiting for him. So they had a conversation. So uh, she decided to leave, and um, my grandfather and my grandmother came to the house five minutes later to tell my father that his aunt had passed away uh -huh. six hours ago. Mm -hmm. Well, he had just talked to her five minutes ago. So yeah. what, would you, what would you call that? I mean, now you're saying that he said, he said he had talked to her. Five minutes ago, before my grandfather and my grandmother came to the house to let him know that she had passed away six hours ago. Oh, well, it, it goes with, uh, 
means that the spirit came. And he, it was a physical body. Physical body. Physical body. Yeah, the spirit can come like that in a physical body. It can, it can, it can animate itself, but it's still a spirit. Yeah, stuff like that happens all. The, stuff like that happens all the time. So there was a lot of energy there. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that happens all the time to warn people. Stuff people have seen. You know, it's interesting here because um, I knew this white boy. Uh, he would go out to the club on Friday nights. This night, he worked so hard he was so tired, so he went in, in the house and fell on the bed and went to sleep. The next night, on Saturday night, when we, he went out to the club, everybody at the club was like, hey man, we saw you last night. You were standing across the street and we were hollering at you and you was looking at us, but you wouldn't come across the street. Why were you tripping? What was going on? He said four, five, six people said that to him. What had happened was, when he fell asleep, he astro traveled. He must have wanted to go to the club severely, but he took his body wouldn't let it. So what he did is he astro traveled to the club, and his spirit was so intense of him wanting to go, and he was dreaming about it, so he appeared. Although he was home asleep, you see, but they could see him across the street. You see what I'm saying? So that's stuff that there's all kind of stuff in the spirit world, and as a matter of fact. That's, that's what we're going to have to be. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna have to, it's already happening to us. Look, they announced two weeks ago that black people, based on the unemployment, are now in the Depression era. Right. 1909, they say, I was status right now. We're in the Depression era. But niggas are walking around like they ain't doing it like it's 1999. <laughs> so obviously we have acclimated ourselves out of not having so much until it's regular shit for us. <laughs> but they're saying based on our status, we are in the depression era. You see, we just live at home with your mama, your cousin. What I don't know how we do it, but we have made such become such masters of it. So it's not even registering with the naked eye, but the but the statistics is coming out that we are in the depression era. So obviously we have already learned how to live magically. And one of the ways how to live magically here is is to cut down on your desires. See what puts you in slavery is how much desires you have. If you can eliminate the desires. You see, who says you gotta have a, a Mercedes? Let me tell you something about desires. But another thing when I was up at Benedict and stuff, I used to go out to clubs and I would start plotting all day on what I was gonna wear <laughs> to be the center of attraction. And when I left Columbia, South Carolina to go to Atlanta, I had a bag full of fucking phone numbers of women. And I didn't know who the hell they were. Just because I just because I took an old man advice, he said, talk to a hundred, you're bound to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of brothers here. Now, that's a lot of brothers. Oh, women, if you're a black man, and you're looking for a woman, you don't need a, a dating agency. You need a psychiatrist. <laughs> See what I'm saying? My oldest brother is taking school teachers to McDonald's and say, you better look at the bottom of that list right there. That's that a discount list. <laughs> you go above that shit, it ain't happening. He's taking school teachers to McDonald's. That's how bad it is out here for women. So if you're a brother and you can't get a woman, you don't you need a psychiatrist. <laughs> And you say, well, how do you get a woman? You get up on her. See what I'm saying? I knew a nigga from the nation of Islam. I said, I can't go nowhere with you, man. Because we never get nowhere. He, he decided he's going to talk to every woman he saw. No, stop the car. <laughs> stop the car. And that's what a South Carolina nigga used to do. He used to get up on the ass. <laughs> so if you got a problem with women, it's because... Look, 
man. Get up on him. Talk to a hundred. Bound to get to <coughs> You see, this confidence. You see. Now where was I? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it's depression era. So what it is, we are dealing with the magic now. We have learned something mystical. Because they were saying, look, you have to turn the you white people have to turn the black people to learn how to live. Because we have mastered that shit. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? I don't know how, but somehow we do it. So they are showing you right now there's a separation. We are, we are in the God realm now, although we're in the depression. But it ain't registering. Look, I walked through the Hartsville International Airport. I used to lecture three times out of the month, or two times out of the month. So for some reason, I lectured in January in New York, and I lectured again in June in New York. I didn't have no lectures in between. By choice. Because I was going through a dimension. When I, when I finally got back on the lecture circuit and I went through the Hartsville International Airport, they got a big old radiation machine. Remember they was talking about these machines and they were everybody didn't want to go yeah. and stuff. So I already know this, what you do, you you eat the radio, you take the radiation, that's your shit. That's what that melanin is. So you neutralize it in your mind and you can go put it. But I, I wasn't even thinking that day, I was damn near drunk. I was staggering through there and I went into, <laughs> I went into the radiation, I went into the booth and they couldn't find me on the radar. The woman said, you need to go back through again. I went back through again. They couldn't find me at all. She said, oh, shit, this is going to be a long process, and I don't feel like I'm trying to get off work now. So she said, no, you go over there and get searched by that that, that, that guy over there. And me, I'm going to, I'm trying to get through this motherfucker before they know what's happening. So I went over there. I said, now, you can put your hand all up my butt, whatever. And I'm trying to get here and get on that plane. Because I know what just went down. I was in another dimension. And that radar couldn't pick me up. And I didn't want this to be an incident. You see what I'm saying? Well, they shut down the fucking airport. So I said, no, no, come on, yeah. Here, here, here you go, man. Search all up, everything. And I got the hell on. But what it was is, it was in another dimension. That's what's happening now. Now, this is what's happening. We had a lot of kittens, stray kittens in the back. You feed them. You feed them. You never touch them. That way they're mean spiritual. They spray kittens, you feed them, or what have you. Our kittens went down to about three or four kittens and then went down to two. And one of the little kittens ran in the house and ran up under the Urzuri altar and disappeared. Every time she run under the altar, she would disappear. And then a few days later, all those kittens went into a went into the, uh, another dimension. There's a big ass tree in our backyard, and they can go into another dimension in that tree. The dimensions now are around these old ass trees. That's why they get real they get real scared about what's happening here. Stuff is around these old trees. You see what I'm saying? There's a book you need to get called Tree of Enchantment. See the name of that book. The Tree, the Tree of Enchantment. Um, uh, let's see what the name of it is. Um, bear with me one. It's by Orion Foxwood. Orion Foxwood. Tree of Enchantment by Orion Foxwood. Okay. Any more questions? Because I'm gonna go into this other science in a few minutes. But any questions? Yeah. That's all those are those are dimensions. See the, the speed the speed and everything is breaking down now. We are living in a world that's actually gone. Did you see the jet, the Ebony magazine? The one, I got it right here. There's an Ebony magazine. I'll show you one to get. I think I got it. 